Hey guys what's up? In this video, we are going to take a look at the top 3 best web hosting options available on the market today that is best suited for RV blogs. When it comes to web hosting options there really isn't a perfect one. Nor the best one to be honest as it all comes down to your personal preferences, your goals and what kind of website you actually want to build. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over my personal top 3 web hosting options. We will take a look and talk about the pros and cons of each one. I'm only going to give about 5 of the most important pros and cons of each of them. Regardless of which you go with pretty much, all web hostings have the same basics and fundamentals of each other is just speeds, allowances, and tools that change them all about. Pretty much they really are all pretty much the same with the standard features but we will go over each one so you know which will be best for you. We will look at the basic plans and go in depth about VPS hosting or dedicated hostings etc. We will save them for another video. Ok guys without further ado let's get into this video. So the first web host that I want to talk about and is my personal favorite so this is why I've put it up first right at the start as this is the one that I use for all of my most important websites and money sits and that is WPX hosting. If you have been around the traps a bit you may have heard of WPX hosting before as they are the only official web hosting recommended by Thrive Themes. They are also been proven to be the fastest hosting provider for Divi Themes too. Not only that it has also been crowned the WordPress fastest hosting provider by Matthew Woodward, professional blogger, and search engine optimization guru. WPX hosting functions perfectly with WordPress so it makes it ideal for bloggers, entrepreneurs, photographer blogs and websites just to name a few. More suited for experienced large websites with lots of traffic or large imagery like photographers. If you are new to the whole online website system or the competition isn't that tough in the SERPs where a microsecond slow load page can see you drop out of the top 10 then WPX hosting really is overkill for you. Used by affiliate marketers for money sites due to the fast load speed and those who use search engine optimization as Google now uses site load speed as an algorithm and ranking factor. I will discuss this more in a second when we get into the pros and cons and why Google loves WPX hosting. So in saying that here are the pros of WPX hosting guys. Number 1, WPX hosting is number 1 on both G2 Crowd and Trustpilot. Number 2, very helpful informative and responsive live chat with 2, 4, 7, 3, 6, 5 days of the year. And that is no joke guys as their support is some of the best that I've come across when it comes to web hosts. They are really second to none with the support it's almost instant and very very fast and very helpful too. Number 3, to 3x your site speed WPX hosting has its very own cloud hosting CDN. This is like having a mini server nearby to help load and run your website faster and more efficiently, even from the other side of the world. Number 4, one click WordPress installation plus you'll also get a free SSL certificate for each website, free email with each website and unlimited site migration all included for free. Number 5, WPX Hosting offers you a 30-day money-back guarantee, 28-day automatic backups on all of your website and a guaranteed and 99.98% uptime. You have a selection of either the USA or the UK for hosting locations depending on your targeted audiences of which you choose. You have a choice of three different plans and you get a choice of either monthly or yearly. It is cheaper on a yearly plan over the monthly plan, so if the budget reaches out that far I recommend the yearly plan and the savings equals two months free hosting. The business plan is the cheapest you get 5 websites with 10 gig storage 100 gig bandwidth and all that no more to pay for only $20.83 per month and if you take the yearly option you will get free 2 months of hosting included. And guys the prices are always changing quite frequently so make sure you click the link in the description below and see what prices they are right now but at the time of recording this video, the business plan is at $20.83 per month. Ok, guys, there's some of my top pros, now let's have a look at some of the cons of WPX hosting. Now for the cons guys and tell you the truth there really is too many to tell you. Probably the biggest standout will be the cost of the plans to compare to the other two hosting we will look at soon and they are SiteGround and Bluehost. As I said above Google uses site load and site speed as a ranking factor and if your website is lagging or slow to open your customers are going to bounce and maybe end up on your opponent's website which we don't want right. Another thing that I feel is worth a mention is it's not really for newbies or those with just small traffic websites. Just because of the costing of it. You will have the same or very similar to using a cheaper hosting like SiteGround or Bluehost for smaller sites but hey if you want a Ferrari for hosting then WPX is for you. Ok, the next web host I want to talk to you guys about is SiteGround OK. SiteGround is another one of my personal favorites that I use and recommend for my Amazon affiliate sites. SiteGround is ideal for WordPress sites once again and in fact, all these three web hostings are most suited and ideal for WordPress. 
SiteGround is another one that's actually been recommended by WordPress so you know you can have no problems there. It's also good for Joomla sites, Drupal sites, Blogger and managed web hosting. Ok let's get into the pros and cons of SiteGround. So the pros are going to be you are going to get free daily backup and restores and again with 99.9% .9 uptime. I've never had a problem or never had any downtime that I know about so you're been pretty much up all the time. I haven't had any problems they might have been done down while I've been asleep or something like that but I'm not sure but pretty much yeah all the time they are up. SiteGround also runs on solid state drives and they have staging for WordPress which makes it really convenient for WordPress. It also makes it really easy to use and they also have data centers on three continents. The price is going to be around $3.95 per month subject to change. As I said make sure you check out those links in the description below and that way you'll get the latest prices and any discounts that are on offer right now. If you don't click the links and go straight to their website you might get prices a little bit more expensive so yeah make sure you check out the description for those links and see what prices you're going to get but right now they're about $3.95 per month for SiteGround hosting at their starting price. Ok if you want the more expensive plan packages like I've recommend you use then it's going to be a few more dollars per month but that's about it really ok let's go to the cons of SiteGround. So the cons are going to be web space is going to be capped at 10 gigabytes and 30 gigabytes depending on the plan that you choose. Number 2, the managed hosting features requires they either grow big or grow geek plans once again that's a more expensive plan so if you want to be managed to host features you're going to have to pay for the more expensive plans but again don't worry about the price as it's a few bucks difference per month. That will be just about it for the cons ok so let's get in the next one which is Bluehost. Ok Bluehost is the third web hosting that I recommend. You may have heard of Bluehost as it is also another web hosting platform that is recommended by WordPress as the same as SiteGround. The reason is that Bluehost functionally works perfectly well with WordPress so Bluehost is ideal for bloggers, entrepreneurs, and WordPress beginners. If you are just starting your WordPress website this is gonna make it really really easy for you and I'll get into it why when we talk about the pros and cons in just a second. So the pros of Bluehost. Number 1 They have free site lock CDN. Number 2 They have helpful and responsive live chat support and it's 24-7 with expert support and in-house expert team is always on the hand to help answer your questions. The robust help center includes guides, video tutorials and more. You also have access to them by live chat or you can call chat or email any time of the day or night. With every new hosting, you get a free domain name for the first year free SSL certificate included one click WordPress install and a 30 day money back guarantee. The basic shared starter plan starts off at $3.95 per month, this includes one website 50 gigs of SSD storage and unmetered bandwidth. Free SSL certificate 1 domain 5 park domains and 25 subdomains. The thing I like about Bluehost is the automatic WordPress installation. Like I said this is gonna be perfect for beginners that are just starting out with WordPress website so pretty much this is like a one click and your website will be up and running on WordPress in no time at all. Also, you get guided website creation for WordPress beginners as well so guys like another reason to go with a Bluehost if you are WordPress beginner and they also have an automatic WordPress plugin and theme updates. Ok so everything about Bluehost works and functions perfectly with WordPress that is the reason why is my top list and also because WordPress actually recommends them as the web host. For the prices guys, Bluehost starts off at $3.95 per month on the basic plan and as I said earlier, price does change so click on the link below in the description to get the latest and best pricing deals. Now for the cons. Same as the other hosting when it comes to the cons there are not too many to mention. One is it does require more expensive plans if you want unlimited everything ok, you will have to pay more and it will be more than $3.95 ok. In saying that for a few extra dollars a month you can go to the plus plan and have unlimited everything for $5.50 it is worth a look at and that is at the time of making this video and it is perfectly worth it for sure. Another is you have less control over automatic data backups and the last one is you can't use HTTPS and Cyclic CDN together. Ok guys well there is my top 3 best web hosts list right there. Hey, guys thanks for watching my top 3 web hosting options and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it has been informative for you and hope it has helped you to make a decision on which web hosting you should choose for your website. It entirely depends on your goals and your personal preferences and what kind of website you're actually are going to making and building. If you want the best fastest dedicated cloud-based web hosting on the planet that is built for the ultimate performance then you need WPX hosting. Built from the ground up and the equipment is owned, unlike most others that lease or rent the servers, Terry Kyle has been online since the late 90s and is a pioneer among search engine optimization gurus. 
SiteGround and Bluehost are pretty much on par with pricing and features and they will come to down to your personal taste and liking. All three platforms have one-click WordPress install fast 24-7 support. The two main keys I look for in hosting is just that, support and speed. You won't go wrong using any of these hosts and if you really want to choose between SiteGround and Bluehost, SiteGround has better, faster support at the times I needed it. So, guys, thanks for watching my top 3 picks on the best web hostings options and I hope it has helped or answered any questions you may have had and to help you to make a better buying decision. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out the links below in the description, cheers until the next one.